Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So, it's the 8th of December 2020 and this is a recorded video. So, to this video, I will talk about how to capture trend, trending market on higher time frames by my own strategy KTS. So every Wednesdays, Fridays, I talk about my own strategy and look at some charts. So let's get started right now. Um, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take tries, please do with your own risk. So um, before moving on to uh, the chart, let me just do a recap on how I capture trends on higher time frames. So I use Ichimoku, especially Kumo and Kijuns and Angles to capture trends. Um, so this is a, like a simplified version, simplified version of um, Ichimoku strategy. Um, of course, you can use Tenkan Sen and Shikou Span to support uh, the trend direction or the equilibrium, or you can use the time cycles. But if you're still new to Ichimoku, I recommend you to use Kumo and Kijuns and Angles to capture the trend direction. So. Um, usually, I take the daily or forward chart on forex pairs and capture the trends, capture the major trend direction. So first, initially, I look at the Kumo, and I look at the angle and length and thickness of the Kumo. Because uh, when you see the Kumo angle is uh, like flat, then uh, it's not really the uptrend or downtrend. And you, if you see the Kumo to be very th small, uh, then it is still a potential retracement. And if you see the Kumo thickness is very thin, then the market might reverse backwards. So make sure that you have decent angle, length, and thickness of the Kumo, and that will be the first step that you can uh, confirm. So today, um, this video is recorded on the 8th of December. So here's a G uh, GBPUSD. And right now we see the Kumo is up. We see Kumo up. And also, same goes from B's up and A's up. So on this Kumo here, we see the thickness is thick enough. The Kumo itself is thick enough, and this is long enough. Or right? sometimes the Kumo uh, can become a very small, tiny Kumo, while twisting many times. Like um, maybe if you can find some previous Kumos here, uh, I think yeah, these are good examples. So after the Kumo twist. After this bearish Kumo, um, it didn't really go, the Kumo itself, but it was flat Kumo, and this was thin, and this was short. But over here right now, what we see here is the Kumo is thicker here. It's got the thickness to it, and it's got the length and angle upwards. So that's one of the first confirmation you want to take. So you take daily chart or forward chart, and take which one of the time frames you take to trade. So here's a daily chart, um, GPBUSD, and let's check the 4-hour chart. Let me compare. All right, in 4, we see Kumo is thin, and this is pretty much flat right now. This is not really long enough, as we saw on the daily chart, but this is more of very thin and very flat. So. We cannot trust this Kumo in this case. So in this condition, as per Kumo, we don't know the direction, which way the market is going to go. But in a daily chart, we see the uptrend. So in this case, I would take the daily chart uh, to, to look for buy. So, so once again, you see Kumo here first, angle, length, and thickness. And if these are yes, then you move on to the next question whether single span B is down or up. So single span B is the lower part when the Kumo is bullish, and single span A is upper part of the Kumo here. And first, you, you check single span B is up or not. And right now, we see single span B is up. So that's yes. Right, single span B up and yes. And then you, could, you move on to the next question, Kijun Sen whether Kijun Sen is up or not. So Kijun Sen in my chart color setting is the green one. And you see Kijun Sen is currently up right now. So this means that this is uptrending overall. In long term direction, this is uptrending. Right, so 
once again, you check Kumo first, you, Kumo, you, you check the Kumo angle, length and thickness, and then if there's a yes, then you move on to Senko Span B, whether it's up or not. And when you find Senko Span B to be up, then you move on to the next question, Kijun Sen, up or down. And when you find Kijun Sen also to be up, then you can look for by chance, I mean you can confirm this uptrend in the mid time frame, 1 hour or 30 minute chart by the same manner. But what if the Senko Span B flat? In this case, the Senko Span B is up, but what if it goes flat like this? Then when you see Senko Span B to be flat, then you, you check the Senko Span A angle, whether Senko Span A is up or not. So when you find Senko Span B flat, then if you see, see Senko Span A to be up, then um, you can uh, check the Kijun Sen, and if Kijun Sen is still also up, then you can take this time frame uh, to take trade. I mean, you can look for the buying edge on lower time frames, but you still take trades on this daily chart. So that means as long as the daily chart goes up, you trade the profit, you keep trading, and once the Kumo goes flat and Kijun Sen goes flat, as the market goes flat like this way, then that will be the exit timing. So, in this manner, you can uh, check charts and um, yeah, you can be more efficient, time efficient to um, check some trending market because in this way, I have recorded a video in the past, uh, I checked uh, like uh, 10 pairs and it was, it took only uh, one and a half minute, one and a half minute to screen these uh, 10 pairs. Um, on daily chart and forward chart, whether these are uptrending or not. So this one is uptrending. So usually I put the mark here and I will move on to other pairs. So let me check some other pairs, Euro USD. So Euro USD right now, we see Kumo is up right now. Itself, it's got the thickness to it. But the thing is that the single spawn B flat and A is also flat. And also Kijun Sen is flat. So in this case, the market can retrace backwards to either um, Tenkan Sen or it can come back to the Kijun Sen all the way. So this is where you don't want to look for buy chance on this daily chart. But you want to wait for until the um, um, Senko Span A up or B up and also Kijun Sen up to look for buy chance. So that's something that I wait. and. Looking at the 4 hour chart, in 4 this is also flat. You see the Kumo thickness is okay and length is okay, uh, but um, the, the angles of single spawn B flat, A flat, Kijun Sen is flat right now in this 4 hour chart too. So in 4 hour chart also, I would wait until either B or A up and Kijun Sen up to look for buy chance in lower time frames. So I hope you get the idea of uh, this, how to capture trend in this way. And um, so this PDF is actually available for anyone for free. So please click on the link below the description and get this PDF for free. Or you can come to my website and you can come to this uh, free download and click on this KTS uh, case training strategy. And um, you can find the page where I introduce the video about my strategy and also you can download the PDF. So I hope you get the essence of uh, my own strategy and if you further want to master my strategy hands-on, then I have the GTS class. So yeah, right now we have a um, January to March 2021 GTS class and there is one only seat available. There is one more seat available for anyone. So. Yeah, please click on the services at GTS Global Trader School and you can see all these information here. So yeah, I wish to see you on the next live or next video or GTS class or Ichimoku membership live. So let's see, tomorrow as a recap, I have a program guide here on my website and tomorrow I will do some analysis, market analysis by Ichimoku. So every two Thursdays, 
I do the lives based on Ichimoku analysis, so I will focus on the five lines of Ichimoku, and、um, I will do the live tomorrow. So I will hope to see you tomorrow's live, and until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.